Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl back in the his house with another for your mother or your brother or your sister, or your father, you know, your daughter, whoever. <laughs> she is back with another one. I have to come up with a with an intro for this particular channel. Um, because I don't want to use the intro for my old channel, Marley December Vlogs, which is now MD Career Quest. So if you're interested in working remotely, the link for MD Career Quest will be down below in the description box or either on my end screen. Um, go ahead and, you know, subscribe to that channel and um, hopefully we can get you a job working from home because I do post a lot of remote work over there. Um, being that I no longer vlog on that channel. I'm now vlogging over here. So yeah, um, we need to create a new intro <laughs> so that we can have our own little intro over here. And I also want to say thank you to all of my new subscribers. Hi, let me give y'all a hug. <clears throat> it's a big old hug to you. And to my OGs, thank you for returning. I am so happy to see you here. So, so happy to see you here. And you also know my OGs, where I am, my happy space, my deck, my backyard, boo. I love, love, love being back here. And with that being said, if you hear any noise, the squirrels have been squirreling in the trees. They're doing whatever they're doing. The birds, the crickets, the dogs barking, the kids on their motorbikes, cars, whatever it is, I apologize in advance. I apologize in advance all right now that we've gotten that out of the way um oh and I also want to thank everybody for your support over here I can't just say hey and not thank you for the support thank you for supporting the channel we started out with 17 subscribers over here when I came back and started vlogging a week or two ago um well it was two weeks ago yeah two weeks ago um we only had 17 subscribers and we're now at 32. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Thank you for the comments, the likes, the um, subscriptions, just everything. Thank you for it all. I truly, truly do appreciate it. I don't take any of it for granted. Like, look, I'm happy for my little 25 hours of watch time. It was a skeeter, y'all. Like, that's a drop in the bucket. But guess what? Every little drop eventually makes a gallon, honey. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy for my little 25 watch hours. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And uh, I'm looking forward to growing this community with you all. Like, I am so excited to see what's ahead. Like, yeah, but it's all God. Whatever he leads me to do over here, that's what we were do over here. So, yeah. Um, and with that being said about what God is leading me to do, this video, this particular video that you're watching right now, um, it's not biblical like my video was that dropped on the 23rd. Um, but it is uplifting and it's giving an individual their flowers while they're able to smell their flowers and or realize that someone is giving them flowers. And the individual that I am focusing on today is Latoya. And some of you probably already know Latoya. Um, she goes by the name Dodash on her channel. Um, and she's very transparent with her experience um, on YouTube as well as her experience as a gig worker. Now, let me tell you how I came across Latoya. I was suggested her channel via the algorithm. I logged on because I recognized her face. Or shall I say, I clicked on her video because I recognized her face. And I said, I know this woman. So I'm watching her content because at first I was watching her shorts, her, um, her DoorDash shorts. They are hilarious to me because as a former Dasher, every single short that she has shared about the experience of a Dasher is exactly true to the T. Um, so I was cracking up about that, watching those shorts. Then I started watching her long form content, but the whole time I'm like, I know this woman from somewhere, 
but I just can't remember where I know her from. Um, and I would say maybe after watching the third long form video that she posted, I went ahead and subscribed. And I believe at that time she may have been under 20,000 subscribers, but she definitely was not where she is right now from my recollection. Um, but I subscribed to her because I liked her transparency. I, I, I enjoy her honesty um, because I am an individual like I don't like I don't deal with people that are fake. I don't deal with people that lie. Like I don't deal with people that feel that they need to follow the crowd just to be liked, you know, by others. So because Latoya was sharing her transparency, like I said, I went ahead and subscribe. But in one of those videos I did, and I'll leave that message here. I said, girl, I don't know where I know you from, but I know your face and I don't forget faces. Um, but in the back of my mind, I'm like, I think it's the hair product. I think she's the one that used to sell the hair product. And sure enough, she is the young lady that used to sell the hot, the hair products. So I continue on and, you know, watch Latoya grow. And she went to the Sarah Jakes um, conference and, you know, she talked about how she was married and then divorced and was homeless and, you know, had the low self-esteem as we've all had at some point in our lives. Um, for me, it was when I was a child was because I was bullied about my looks a lot when I was a kid, like really. But that's a whole nother story. Um, so I loved her transparency of sharing how um, she at one point was driving and doing gig work in her own car, working 18 hours a day just to make $200 to the point where her car broke down and she had to rent a car. And then the company got tired of her putting the miles on the car. Cause let me tell you something as a gig worker, you can put up depending on how often you drive, you can put up to a thousand miles a week on your vehicle. No lie, a thousand miles a week. Just think about that. That's 52,000 miles a year that you've put on your vehicle. That part. Um, so the company that she was renting for, from didn't like that. So she started rent, renting with another company. And like I said, she was paying $100 a day for these rental cars. And this one particular company, the second company that she was renting from, the guy said, I can't keep letting you rent these vehicles at five, six thousand dollars a month. Let me just buy you a vehicle and you can pay me back that way. And she was like, oh, my gosh. So she shares that story a lot. Like that is just a testimony of God being in your life. Or shall I say a testament of God being in your life? It's both a testament and a testimony. They is the same. Um and so that's what he did. And that's what she's been doing, paying him back. And she shared how she was late paying her rent. She would be late paying her um, her car note to the guy. But she also shared how she went from being homeless and sleeping in her car or at parking lots and whatever and sleeping at hotels or people's sofas if they allowed her to do so to going to different apartments and looking at them and some she would get denied and there's one particular apartment she went to every single day even though she knew she couldn't afford it and she just started talking to the lady that was there and the lady was willing to work with her to get the apartment and she did again a testament of God being in your life favoritism from God you hear me God is going to take care of his kids that's one thing for sure. He's going to take care of his kids. So she shares all of this. And then as she's sharing this, her channel is growing because more people are gravitating to her energy and her transparency. And she right now is at 41,000 subscribers like that quick, like in a month's time, she grew to 41,000 subscribers from where she was. Um, in what September because like I said I came across her channel between late September I'm sorry late August early September she's at 41,000 subscribers so I remember when she was excited about getting to the 20 
5,000 and the 30,000 and the 35,000 and the, the, the 39,000. So she's sharing this as she's going along and she's sharing her experience of making the, the $6,000 that she made in September. And she's sharing her thousand dollars that she made the first three days of October. And, um, or shall I say the first seven days, the first 10 days, 11 days of October, and people are coming in and trying to put an umbrella over her success. They're trying to cap her at a certain level. They're trying to muffle muffle they're trying to muffle her and I left and I'll leave that comment as well either here or here and I said to her don't you ever let anybody muffle you cap you put an umbrella over you cast a shadow over you attempt to um, tell you not to do whatever it is if you want to jump skip hop turn cartwheels bust a split, scream, laugh, yell, cry, whatever it is that you desire to do to show your testimony of God being in your life, girl, you better do it. You better do it. I said, you, your enjoyment, your excitement reminds me of Uncle Reese's song where he talks about tell the driver to pull over so I can run around the car and shout. And Jordan Armstrong's song, Reverse Effect, because that's exactly what Latoya is going through right now, a reverse effect. She went from being homeless and not having nothing to now she is a successful, growing, constantly YouTube creator, content creator. This woman has gone from working 18 hours a day, having to ask people on YouTube, posting her cash out, asking for money to help her get something to eat or to pay a bill or get gas in her car or whatever it was that she needed to do to now. She just got her first paycheck today, October 21st, 2024. That's almost seven thousand dollars. And then her check for October is projected to be seven thousand dollars and more. It might be about nine, ten thousand. Because. People are gravitating to her transparency, her honesty, because that's what we enjoy. We want to see people who are like us. We don't always want to see these people that are out here flashing these lavish houses and cars and vacations and clothes and stuff. We want to see people like us. And Latoya, if you're watching this girl, you are it. You are it. And I am so, so happy for you. And I pray for you on a daily basis for your continued growth. And please continue to keep the mindset that you have when it comes to these people trying to tear down your success. Share whatever you want to share without sharing too much and continue to influence the people that you are influencing because baby girl, you are doing the dang thing. And I know you're 42 years old and you probably don't like people calling you baby girl, but yes, you are doing the dang thing. The dang thing. <laughs> dame you are doing the dang thing you really are and I am super super excited for you and with me telling Latoya th these very words I want to say the same thing to you to anybody that is watching this never ever ever allow anybody to tell you that you are something that you are not do not allow them to tear you down okay do not allow them to put a cap on your excitement or better yet, don't let anybody put a cap on the testimony or the testament, the presence of God being in your life. Ever. Don't do that. Don't do it. All right. That's all I have right now. Um, I will leave Latoya's. Ooh, excuse. Ooh, I'm sorry. I will leave LaTorge's link down in the description box. You guys can go over and subscribe to her channel if you're interested. And um, I will see y'all on the next one. Bye.